everybody, welcome to March Favorites. I love making favorites videos, so let's just jump in because I have a lot of completely random things to talk about and show you. Let's start with makeup and then we'll go to the random stuff. So we're gonna start with what's on my face. Um, first thing is a new favorite from the drugstore. A lot of this is drugstore, by the way, if you're a big drugstore fan. And it was recommended by you guys. And it's the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. Probably gonna do a whole dedicated video to this, but I'm not sure why it's even necessary because in a nutshell, it's awesome. It's such a great foundation. I love it. My skin looks better than I've ever seen it on camera. And that's just all I need to say really, except that I don't use a cushion. I just um, dip my brush in and just smack it on and it's amazing. I adore this stuff. Another recommendation from all of you is from Physicians Formula and it is their butter bronzer. Now, I tried this last year and I did not care for it. I had it in the light shade. I went back and got the deep shade or I guess it's actually the normal shade and then there's a light shade. So this is the, the normal or deeper shade. It's so smooth, it's so creamy, it's so blendable. It, it just blends right into the skin and makes it look like I'm just naturally tan, which we all know I am not. It is on the expensive side for a bronzer for any product from the drugstore. It's $15 or so. So if you can grab this with a coupon, I recommend it. And sticking with Physicians Formula, they released um, butter blushes fairly recently and I picked one of them up and I have been wearing it non-stop. If you are a regular or longtime viewer of my videos, you know I love a barely there glowy kind of blush. Hello, was Physicians Formula just designing a blush personally for me? No, but this is the butter blush in Natural Glow. I am wearing this today as well and it looks like nothing. I mean, it is literally nothing. It's it, I think on darker skin tones, this is a highlighter, but on me, it's just a glowy, lit from within kind of blush. Has that same scent as the bronzer and I love it. I don't love the packaging. It seems excessive, but I'm not gonna be picky. I, it's pretty much all I've worn for the entire month. More drugstore. Now, um, this brand, Flower Beauty, I've talked about before. It is from Drew Barrymore and it is found in brick and mortar stores at Walmart. You can find some of these online and order it online from Walmart, or you can order directly from flowerbeauty.com. The first thing I cannot get enough of, I can't remember if I mentioned this favorites or not already, but if I haven't, let's just, or if I have, let's just mention it again, because it's that good. This is their, it's got a really long name. It's the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. Let's just call it the Highlighting Palette. These powders are so creamy and so reflective they almost feel like they're cream or liquid. They are not. They are, um, in fact, powder. If you took this out of the packaging and asked me to guess who made this, I would start saying, I would start throwing out high-end designer brands. If you told me that I bought this, you could buy this at Walmart, I would think you were insane. Thank you to Jen from, um, I wanna say her, her website is View, View Addiction, like Beauty Addiction, I will link it below. She's another favorite for the month. Um, Jen is a blogger and a big Instagrammer and I have become addicted to her blog and her Instagram account. And I should probably just do a video called Jen Made Me Do It because I follow her Instagram religiously and everything she posts, I'm like, oh, I need that, oh, I need that. And this was one of the things she posted as was the butter bronzer and the blush and a few other things. So it's, yeah. She's great though, um, really great blog. Again, I will list her Instagram account and blog below. Also from Flower Beauty, also on my eyes, is this palette that you've seen me um, play with if you watch me on Instagram Live. More on that in a moment. This is the Shimmer and Shade Eyeshadow Palette in Golden Natural. This, These are all right up my street, all my favorite kinds of colors, that warm, coppery, bronzy shade. It has a nice matte toned, um, mid-tone brown, which is in my crease. Today I have a mix of these two colors on my lid and this dark metallic brown in the outer crease. The only thing, oh, and then this very light shade in my inner corner. The only thing this is lacking to make this less than absolutely perfect is a matte or satin tone um, 
brow bone shade. That's it. Because this was my favorites video, I decided to pile on everything that I love on my face. So as my primer today for my eyeshadow, I used another huge favorite. And if you missed my get ready with me where I demonstrated how to use these, please give this video that video a little love. It'll pop up here on a card and it'll show up on the end screen um, because it needs a little love, guys. Go watch the Milk Pigments review. This is from Milk Makeup. It's their new eye cream pigment and um, or eye pigment creams, I think. They did send me all 11 shades and um, I think they are amazing. And these have been on heavy rotation. Of all 11 shades, realistically, if I were to go back and repurchase the ones that I truly love, and I don't know if I will ever have to repurchase any of them because these will last a very long time. Um, the only two that I reach for over and over and over are Hotel Lobby, which is a very light kind of champagne shade, and that's what I'm wearing all over my lid underneath my lid shade, and Gig, which is what I demoed in the video. It's a slightly warmer, still on the light side, but bronze shade all over the lid. Love these. Huge favorites of mine. The other thing that I'm wearing... Uh, also sent to me, um, although I purchased a lot of these colors already, and then L'Oreal went ahead and sent me more. So the ones that I have that are duplicates, I'm putting aside for future giveaways. But these L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paints, um, I think they're so fun because they are what I think of as liquid lip color in that it's like as if you took a lipstick and melted it. It's basically opaque lip gloss. And I'm really enjoying lip gloss again. The particular color is called Spicy Blush. It's just this nice, neutral, warm pink, but more of a neutral, almost a nude pink. And um, kind of reminds me of um, number 800 Ferris Nude, that L'Oreal, way back in the day that I used to wear, but with a little more warmth, a little more color to it. And I really like the delivery. It has a doe foot applicator and a little bit of um, a divot in it, so it fits right onto your lips. I think it's it's... It's a fun little thing. The last um, beauty related thing I'm not actually wearing, I've been wearing in every video almost this entire month though, is from the same collection as this. This on my fingers is from the new Zoya Spring Collection. I believe it's called the Charming Collection. And of course I can't remember the exact name of this green polish. It will be listed in the description box as well everything that I have on. As always, if you are ever wondering about anything I am wearing, anything that I have mentioned, everything is always listed in the description box with links if I can find them. But the one shade that was definitely worth mentioning, there are quite a few shades that I love, but this one to me was the most unique. I have never seen a lavender shade quite like this before. It is Zoya Abbey, and I have been wearing it nonstop. So if you've watched any videos in the last three weeks, pretty much, this is what's been on my fingers. It's the most beautiful, perfect lavender for spring. And then the last beauty product that I wanna talk about um, is something I've been using every day, but you don't see it, and again, unless you're watching me on Instagram Live, and it's from Milani, and it's Keep It Smooth Luxe Lip Treatment. And again, I feel like I've mentioned this before, but maybe it was just the drugstore haul that I did earlier. It smells really good. It's kind of vanilla, sweet, bakery good sweetness comes in this little pot. I just keep it on my bathroom counter and when I sit down to do my makeup in the morning, I slap this on and it and then right before I put on whatever lip product, I kind of just smear it off. My lips have not been chapped all month. So, smells good, works great, and it's in cute little pot and it's very affordable. Now, let us move on to the non-beauty products. So, if you're not interested, you can go get on with the rest of your day, but I'd appreciate it if you stuck around just a little bit longer. So, um I keep talking about Instagram Live. I have so much fun with this. If you are not following me on Instagram, you should because there's a core group of you that pop up every time I do an Instagram Live um, event, I guess it is. And basically what happens is if you're subscribed to me on Instagram and that you have enabled notifications, you will get a notification on your phone that I have started an Instagram Live session and it is literally me just chit-chatting with you most of the time in the morning where I am. I'm usually putting on my makeup and we're chatting like girlfriends do. It's, we've have, we have a lot of fun. So I highly encourage you to come over there and, um, and hang out. But um, some things that have come up and you've asked questions about it and so I thought, and since I'm wearing it all the time, I might as well bring it over to favorites, is this robe. And I recently switched over to this robe from my big, warm, fuzzy winter robe because it's in the 80s now. Uh, temperature wise and this is from the brand Nordstrom and they actually still carry it at Nordstrom it's a great robe it's lightweight it's kind of a kimono style and what I like about it is that it's long enough 
that it kind of it comes like mid thigh, just a few inches above the knee on me anyway. I'm five foot four, so it's still modest. I don't like the little shorty robes that barely come under your your bottom. I want to be covered, so I really, really, really like that. Uh, shoes. So Rowdy is Rowdy, and we've been taking him on a lot of walks, and more importantly, a lot of puppy training classes. And he is, can I just brag on him for a minute? Doing phenomenally. Even the dog trainer says she's never seen a dog with his level of focus. I'm so proud of him. He's over there on the floor. And the shoes I've been wearing for that. After class, I'll drop him back home and then go out and do other things. So I kind of want to look a little more put together. So I found these guys. These are the Seaside style from Sperry, and they come in a ton of other colors, including a metallic one, which I have my eye on. I'm sure Michael's thrilled. Um, but they are super comfortable. I have worn them with and without socks. I kind of prefer wearing them with socks, to be honest, because my feet get a little sweaty. That's my own personal issue. But they're very comfortable. I've walked miles in them, and I had to break them in after a couple of days. They were great. The other pair of shoes that I am loving for these warmer temperatures, um, again, my feet get hot when the rest of me don't. I don't know what that's about. Are these um, kind of mule black heeled slides. Bought them at Nordstrom during my most recent Nordstrom haul and they're uh, like a suede, perforated suede. I like that they're nude so they go with everything. I like the black heel. So basically feels like you're wearing flats. You cannot mess up in this kind of heel. And they're slides, so I don't have to deal with tying or zipping or anything or snapping. They just slide them on and go. And then the last fashion-y thing I want to talk about are these earrings. These are the Sophia earrings. Um, they come in gold, silver, and I think rose gold as well. And I just like the simplicity of them. They're extremely lightweight. Basically, they feel like nothing. And they go with all the different necklaces and things that I usually tend to wear have some sort of gold accent. So I feel like these are very... A very smart purchase. And then let's talk books very quickly. This is turning into a very long video. Um, I read the latest J.D. Robb um, in death release. It's like 40 books in the series now or something. It's ridiculous, but um, books aren't. I love the books. That kept me busy for a few days. And then I finally finished the Hallows uh, kind of paranormal mystery series. Um, that is another very long series. And if you're like witches and vampires and all that stuff, finally finished the last book in that series. And then I found a brand new series to me, and I cannot remember for the life of me the name of the series, but the author is Donna Ball, and the main character's name is Rain, and she is a uh, dog owner, shocker. She lives in North Carolina in the Smoky Mountains, and she owns a dog boarding and training facility, and the main characters are her, this woman named Rain, and her golden retriever, who is a uh, an agility dog and also trained in search and rescue. And so I read the first two books in the series, and I'm working my way through. I think there's 10 books in the series. The very last thing I want to mention, it's totally random, is a candle. You know how much I love amber. You know how much I love my diptyque amber candle. And I still love it. It's still the best smelling amber candle I have ever found and the strongest it can scent a room like nobody's business. But I understand that price point is not for everyone. Well, Glade recently released a new collection and um, this one is number four, Tempted is the candle. And it says it's patchouli, amber, bergamot, and spice. And it's pretty, I would say it's a dupe. It's a dupe for the Diptyque Amber Candle. So, and this one's about five or six bucks, I think. So, if Diptyque is not your thing, or you just wanna see if you like amber, get to your nearest drugstore, grocery store, check on Amazon, and um, grab this Glade candle. I've been burning it nonstop at my desk since I picked it up, and it is amazing. They also have like an air freshener and you know all the other Glade scents, but there you have it. Well, that was it for March. I hope that your March was great. Looking forward to April. A lot is happening in April. So make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss anything. I have two trips planned, um, some great videos I have coming up. At least they're planned up in here. And I hope that you don't miss any of them. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love that you choose to spend time with me. I am so grateful for that. And um, can't wait to read your comments. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.